great. But coming back to my comment about top down and bottom up, I want to take a case study very quickly and show you what is actually happening on the ground. We're talking about vision and we're talking about pragmatism. It's not good enough just to talk. We've got to change the way we do business. So let's have a look at Bowdoin. For those of you not familiar about Bowdoin, I regard it as an excellent and a brave example of trying to do something different in a difficult situation. What's the situation? Bowdoin Creek flows from the University of Victoria through the district of Sandwich, through Victoria, district of Sandwich, both way, and comes out at Waterfront. However, as we have done in the urban streams, we've destroyed it beyond recognition. 60% of the creek is captured in the culvert. 50% of the watershed is wrapped up. So, lo and behold, what happens? A group of citizens get together called Friends of Bowdoin Creek. They say, we want to change this. Initially, the politicians were a bit, uh, but what has happened over time is a complete embracing of this 100-year action plan for Bowdoin Creek. Ian Graham is one of the initiators from the citizenry. And I think he says it awfully well when he said that the blueprint is about reclaiming lost territory from damage caused as a result of our collective indifference because we did not consider the values of our history important. That's so true of a lot of things we've done. That's not pointing fingers again and saying we're in the business of changing our mind. So the blueprint itself creates a legacy because, one, to actually suggest under division, that's a great book, a great book. Second, to actually act and work on that vision. And third, and this is important because it leads into what our speakers are going to talk about today, the critical partnerships between different communities. There's no goal alone in a solution for this technology. So the three municipalities, as I mentioned, are now collaborating to bring around rehabilitation. But there's a there's a an overarching thing I call we call it loosely a new of governance. That doesn't mean to say anyone's got an authority or legal authority. That does not. It's talking about the power of citizen. It's talking about grassroots power, decision makers power, getting together and forging the vision. Community involvement, support from the units for decision makers, apply the new criteria of design with nature as a future pattern for doing work. Now, I put this in just to give you a closure and comment on this. Uh, Jody Watson might, might say it's part of the decision making of the CRD. But Jody has observed that if we agree on the vision, set the targets, provide the panels with the detail for site decisions as opportunities arise. Right. That's an important point, as opportunities arise. Right. You can't do a 100 year vision in 10 years or no. But every time it comes up, what is happening in the front desk now, when developers come into the watershed, they're getting about the 100 year So business is conjured to uh, recognize that. I'm closing with the four C's, as has been said already. Communicate, cooperate, coordinate, collaborate. But I put this in from Truman because I think it says it's the essence. It's amazing what you can accomplish if you do not care who gets the credit. Why do I say that? When you get collaboration, and I mean genuine collaboration, such as you are seeing in the Commons Valley, such as you've seen in the example of David Hunter, things happen. And I think at this point, I can hand it back to him. Back here. There he is. And uh, thank you for your, uh, your time with me here. I just to give you the big picture. I recognize we're not going to wrestle with all this today, but it gives us from here we can now go into the practical steps of what we're actually doing in Bangladesh. Thank you very much.